Hey gang, Zippo. Alright, I don't want to hear any flack over this. Main reason why I don't want to hear any flack is uh, it was sent to me. <clears throat> um, don't know who it came from, but whoever sent it to me, thank you, came directly from Amazon as a gift. Uh, the invoice showed um, 40 six dollars and eighteen cents for the fast hawk sog fast talk you guys know that I like sogs so here we go there she is um, this holster flat out sucks has no practical use difficult to get in and out of got three snaps one two three Nice little sog embroidery there. Once it's out, you turn it over. You have less than on the narrow side here. Less than an inch and a half of webbing. But also in the Amazon box which I thought was just super cool because I've been watching, I watched a, a couple of Gavco uh, videos where he made his own Kydex sheath and then the Kydex sheath that uh, came with uh, or that he uh, did a review on with the st polished stainless and they call this polished stainless it's not polished, it's a brush finish um, <clears throat> but it also came with the holster and this is a kick-ass, badass holster. Um, went out and did some yard work today, and this was on my hip the whole time. Didn't know it was there until I needed it. And it's actually very left-handed friendly, which is real nice for me being left-handed. That'd be this one. Um, it's easy for me to just flip that down, grab the handle, pull it out. I'll show you guys here real quick when you put it in. In order to get it out, just a quick little twist, and it comes out. You can see in this uh, hard molded nylon here, where the point comes into it. And even without the closure that it's got to go into the detents and the ball, uh, the holes that are drilled into the fast talk itself, it stays in there nice and secure but it's not uncomfortable to wear it, it's got a really really nice lock on it uh, reminiscent of tech lock uh, allows you to rotate 180 degrees so and increments of let's see what we got here there's 90 one two three four five six positions so you can mount it essentially in any position. The only th improvement I would uh, do with this is uh, give this the uh, ability to lock so that it would be a free swivel so if you're walking through brush um, it would just free swivel so in case if you hit something you wouldn't have to worry about you know stopping and getting out of the way or what have you but anyway uh, it's a brilliantly made um, clasp uh, that goes on your belt and it's even got a slight recurve to it you guys see that as a curve and the way that it works so you guys if you've looked for the fast talks you've seen them um, it's got this little flip down here which is in itself ingenious because when it's on your belt that has no way of getting of opening up because it, there's just too much to get in the way of that opening up. So you got that and then you've got to pinch with some force to get that to unlock. So it unlocks and as you can see you know if you wanted to you could arrange it in multiple uh, configurations. It's also got these two bars here and these bars pop out so that you can put them wherever you want to locate the uh, holster on your belt where it's the most comfortable for you. Um, I leave them right where they're at so that the, so the holster lays as low on my belt as possible. Uh, but 
you know, it's just as simple as you know, loosen your belt one or two holes, slide that down in to your belt, lock it in place, reach back with your thumb, lock it, and tighten your belt back down, and it is going nowhere. Nowhere. And comes out very easily. Uh, it comes out, it came out I, I, paper curling sharp. I could, I've used it uh, for a couple of days, but paper curling sharp. Um, this end was really blunt, so I went ahead and just uh, just put emphasis on the grinds that they had on there. Kept the uh, same pitch, same angles, and uh, just made that to where it was uh, a little bit more realistic. That's good for prying. Knock that down into a, a piece of wooden twist, and it allows you to uh, uh, split wood that way. Or it's also good for a boring tool. You can hold it, twist it like so. Do a little bit of boring. Um, the only thing I really don't like is uh, instead of being able to hit here with a hammer, you'd have to hit back here. But I think this area here would be strong enough for a strike zone uh, if you were splitting for kindling or something like that. You guys may have noticed the uh, ZV on there. I've got my little... I, I always put my uh, initials on everything and I decided to get a little fancy this time. Took and printed out a font that I liked and uh, just put it over with a piece of clear packing tape and a piece of paper and just engraved, followed the uh, engraving on the paper then peeled the tape off and when I did I was left with a decent enough outline that I could follow it and fill everything in. But uh, anyway, uh, you guys can also go look at Gavco's uh, videos where he has altered his uh, handle. I would call this a fiber reinforced handle. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the composite is, but that's what I would call it. Uh, it does not have a large edge on it. Uh, it comes in at just right at two inches. I'll show you guys here. Right at two inches. Okay. And your spine width. We'll get it here on the inch so we can see. We're at about three sixteenths, a little over three sixteenths of an inch on the on the spine width here. Um, not full tang at all, uh, but it does um, come on down. Let me get this box out of the way. And also, I'm just going to shove that in the box. I mean, thanks for sending it. <laughs> Thanks for sending it with the fast talk, but you guys just really knocked the fast talk in the dirt by, uh, uh it, it, anyway, that's the only drawback I see, but it doesn't matter since it came with this awesome holster. Um, and again, I don't know who sent it to me. If, if they're going to fess up and let me know, great. If not, uh, that's fine too. Um, Certainly not afraid to use it. I'm going to use it and I'll put it through its paces. Uh, typically, I've got my ass wing on my hip when I'm out doing yard work. Uh, branches falling down, I need to shorten them up enough to fit in my trailer. <coughs> Excuse me, my yard trailer, yard cart. I'll uh, bust them up with that. Well, I did that with this today and it performed. Um, and I'm kind of embarrassed to admit it, uh, but it performed close to as well as my S-Twin Camp Axe, uh, my 12-inch Camp Axe. It did really, really well, and it's considerably lighter. I, the whole package doesn't even come in at uh, two pounds, I don't think. i will give it a quick weigh job here get the scale. Oh, get the scale out and see what these have to say. Turn it on. I think my cover on there is a tear so it raises it up high enough. Let's see what we're on. Are we on ounces already to make it easy on me? We're already on ounces. Okay. Now let's see what we got. If we can get this thing on there. Yeah, look, it's just, that's barely a pound. I mean, just a hair over a pound. 16 pounds, one ounce. Uh, so just just a little over a pound there, and then get that 
back on there, make sure I'm zeroed, I'm zeroed. Let me see how much the holster weighs. If you're adding another six, we'll say 6.1, so you're at one pound, 6.2 ounces. Big deal. That's uh, pretty impressive if you ask me, uh, considering the work that it's done. And over strikes are not a problem. Um, let me go ahead and get rid of this, I guess. Uh, over strikes are not a problem. Uh, you've got this area here to take the impact, uh, which is a forged part of the head um, on both sides. I don't know. This this piece of stainless is, I would guess, well, if it's a sixteenth, maybe just a little over a sixteenth of an inch thick. It may take uh, some pretty decent blows since the FRN handle under it is, uh, I mean, you know, it's a good press fit, so it'd probably be alright in that respect. Uh, but anyway, um, whoever was kind enough. You see right there on the end, it's got sog engraved in it as well. And then it's also on the handle, right next to my awesome engraving job. <laughs> um, whoever sent it, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to put it to very good use. Um, I will continue a comparison. Like I've just had it for a couple days, just did the first bit of yard work today with it. Uh, Got some pretty substantial weeds that come up. Also, uh, I did a little bit of trim back on my two lilac bushes out of my pond that uh, flank the waterfall. Just to thin them out. <coughs> Excuse me, just a little bit. Uh, the sap suckers at the base, uh, knocking those out. One, maybe two wax, and they were they were cut out. Not a problem. Um, you know, and then, like I said, it's. Uh, Here's my paper where I was figuring out my what I was going to do as far as a font. But I've used it all day today and I've not touched the edge up, so I don't know what it's going to do here. But when I first got it, yep, see that? And that's after using it all day. <clears throat> that's pretty awesome if you ask me. Uh, you know, you get an S-Wing, and I'm not knocking S-Wings, but you get an S-Wing, and uh, you do have to um, do, do some touch-up on the blade. I did nothing to this. I took it out of the box and put it right to work, and it has performed very well. So, uh, Zippo has come up to date, I guess you could say. Uh, if I were to choose between, um, I really like having a blunt end on the other side of that S wing uh, as a hammer. Uh, so I would be hard pressed to not take my S wing if I was uh, going camping or going out some, you know, uh, some kind of excursion. But as little weight as this would add to uh, my pack, this would go too. Um, makes it very easy to add to your Molly loops on any of your uh, tactical bags or even just uh, to your shoulder strap if you're just taking a you know a day bag um, but anyway I've rambled on long enough to almost my 14 minutes going on here um, first off I want to thank whoever was kind enough generous enough to send that to me uh, the price is pretty amazing because typically they both cost about the same for each item, around 35 40 bucks for the hatchet and then about 35 retail for the holster. So that what was at 46 18 something like that. But for both pieces, that was flipping awesome uh, from Amazon. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the uh, uh, invoice that was in the box it did not say point of origin or where it was ordered from so I could try to figure out who sent it but that's cool anyway 15 minutes this is Zippo hope you all have a awesome week later I'm out